And once again, it is update time because something broke and uh, it, it changes things. All right, I'm going to run a quick update. This is not going to be as long as the last one. So start with, again, latest version. Always get the latest version. Currently, 4.8.2. Gotta select a game, Assassin's Creed single player. Let's do that. Uses DirectX 10. We're going to update that. Get a uh, checker stuff out. We're gonna do this. I don't care about those. What I want, I want some anti-aliasing. Uh, this is a new one. Uh, this is AMD's Contrast Adaptive Sharpen. I like that better. We have the display depth by default. Yeah, that's fine. We'll skip the tutorial. Cool. Okay, so it changed. Here we are. We have about 4.8.2. Don't mind my um, afterburner overlay. I was just checking things. I can turn it off, but I'm lazy, so deal with it. Display depth. Let's go to the straight to the issue. It's changed. Right here it says show both vertical 50-50 depth. You can do depth alone. You can do normal alone. I like showing both because it gives me both the information. But right now it shows me nothing. But that's fine. It says the right settings need to be set in the dialog that opens after clicking the edit global preprocessor definitions button above. They're talking about this button. It glows when you mouse over it. You can click it. It's got the default four settings. Reshade depth input is upside down. is currently set to zero. If it is shown upside down, set it to one. We don't have a depth map. We don't need to touch that yet. Depth input is reversed. is currently set to zero. As we can see here, yep, there's upside down. It's zero. But it doesn't matter because we can change that. It doesn't change anything. So we are going to leave it alone. These numbers are either a one or a zero, either a yes or a no. There is no two, three, four, four forget that. There's just a one or a zero. So there's also reshade depth input is logarithmic. It's currently set to zero. If the normal map has banding artifacts, set it to one. Again, the issue right now is we don't have anything. So we're going to ignore this one. 90% of the games only should require depth input is reversed, set to zero or one. If it's on zero and you don't see it, that means it has to be a one. Now we have information. We have the correct reverse setting, which means we have a normal half and we have a depth half. But currently, there is no information in it, which means that our depth buffer itself is wrong. We're going to do advanced settings, and we can do the live preview. We can turn that off. We don't need that. The, this button, we're not worried about it. Ignore that button. We don't, for the most part right now, we don't even need this option. So, blue half white half. This means that your reversed setting is correct. Remember that black is wrong. White and blue is correct. So at the very end, all the way at the top, I know, it, I know it's covered and I apologize, but it's always the one at the end. This one is direct 3D 11 because that's what Assassin's Creed Black Flag uses. So it's currently using this depth buffer. But there's also this depth buffer. But it's grayed out. We can't click it. This is because I have MSAA on, multi-sample anti-aliasing. We'll get to that in a few seconds, but let's just check what we have right now. Well, this has information, but this is black half. So reversing it was actually not correct. And there's depth information here. Although this one doesn't seem to be very active. And this is probably because in some games it creates a copy of the depth buffer 
and doesn't necessarily use the live one, it uses the copy up here. Now I can copy depth before clear, and the depth is here, but our character is gone. So this is not the right depth buffer, and we'll just see everything ghosting through our character if we turned on, let's say, you know, the re reshade, or ray tracing. As you can see, we're ghosted over by everything behind us, because our character is not in the depth buffer. He's not there. He won't be shown. So back to this. Obviously, this is not the right depth buffer. Well, this one isn't it either. It's, it's a top-down view. And this one, I have no idea where the hell this is. This could be a uh, reflection pass for things... Yeah, this could be a reflection pass because here this is up here, and it goes down there. Could be a reflection pass, but either way, it is useless to us. We don't care. So then, what about this one? This one's blacked out. Well, it says MSAA. So, obviously, I'm going to check my game options. And, yep, MSAA, 4X. Well, we'll just turn that off. We don't need we don't need anti-aliasing if it's going to break, right? So, MSAA is now off. And there's a few more clear there's a few more options here. Neither of them are blocked, and this is the big active one. Although, hmm. Now it's not here. Now, sometimes we need to copy the depth buffer before they clear the game memory. So we turn this on and hey, here's the options. Now clear three seems to be the correct one. Clear two, well, that's the one without, so it's even missing trees, it's missing characters, it's missing this shed. Well, that's not correct. Clear one, well, that's broken entirely. We don't need that. So we have clear three. Now the good thing about Assassin's Creed in general, for Assassin's Creed Black Flag at least, is that there doesn't seem to be ghosting. Normally, when you turn on copy depth before clear, it will be one frame behind um, what you're currently looking at. So you would see a ghost at the edge of this boat, but there currently is no ghost because, thankfully, in Black Flag at least, the copy depth is a real-time depth, depth buffer and not a copied or cleared one. Now, I haven't fully set this game to be as the way I want it. I mean, like, this looks pretty cool, but outside it's a little bit overblown, so some tweaking is needed. And that's basically the cover of it now. So, one more time to go over, display depth, these settings, we don't care about. Unless you're trying to do the multiplier, or the far plane, we don't care. That's not, that's not something we care about. The only difference between live preview on and off, is that when it's off, it only uses the values in here. And when it's on, it uses the values in here. Although that does bring up one quick thing. Oops. Is depth multiplier. Say you do need to change it. Say 1.001 is what you need. Well, if we turn that off, it's not going to make effect. And it's not in here. But what we can do is add it ourselves with this little plus button. You can click that, reshade, depth. Um, this one is just going to be depth multiplier. I'm using all caps because everything else is. And 1.000 is the default. So we can add that. We can see that, oops, let's turn that back there. There is no change. So let's put that to 1.001. We can change this and see that now there is a change. 
and that's just depth multiplier. There's scale and offset, and those need their own inputs. But thankfully, for 99% of the games, we do not need to touch those. The only times we would need to worry about scale or offset is for examples like emulators. Because if you shrink your screen around, so maybe you have like a little square, it's not going to line up right if it's not a perfect 16 to 9 or I want to say 4x3, 3x4 type resolution, like the usual uh, square TVs. That is where you would have to do scale and offset, but I haven't touched those. I don't really run emulators. So that's that's basically that. So we don't need that. That's fine. I can leave it here. Leave it at 1.0. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to hurt anything. Nothing happens. The only other situation where you would need a different type of modifier is um, if you're playing a game and it has network activity. Now when you do that, you won't see any of this. You will see yellow words that say network activity detected, depth is disabled. And there is a workaround to that um, where at least if you have RTGI, you will have access to Marty's Discord. Marty McFly, Pascal Gilcher, uh, although he's trying to step away from the Pascal Gilcher moniker, or no, he's, he's trying to step away from the Marty moniker and go with Pascal Gilcher. So Pascal Gilcher's Discord, see if I can, uh, screen's going to be black, there we go, has this page, Reshade Online Enabled Builds. You want to go with the latest one, 482, you click it, you run it, easy. Um, I don't know how to make it myself. Uh, there are tutorials for making it yourself, but that's coding side and that's not the part of the brain that I use. I'm, I'm more of the artsy side. I use the pretty brain, not the numbers brain. This is going to take a little bit to reload. I just remembered that. Give it a second. It's not broken. There it is. I just had to think about it. Yeah. Okay, so that took a little bit longer for OBS to catch it. Anyway, that's basically it. Because I got myself sidetracked talking about advanced settings again. I'll just say it one more time. Once more, with feeling. Ignore this. Fuck this. We don't need this. It's stupid. Leave it alone. We can do depth map. We can do normal map. We can show both. This is what it looks like when it's reversed. Most of it will be purple. This half will be black. Change this to either a 1 or a 0. If it is on a 0 and it looks like this, turn it to a 1. If it's on a 1 and it looks like this, turn it to a 0. It's a 50-50 chance of whether it's right or not. And that's the basics of it. Sometimes it might be upside down, at which case you'll kind of notice the sky's on the ground. That's not supposed to be there. Fi you, churn, you change that, you fix it. The only slightly confusing thing is logarithmic. So notice how everything is super stripey right now? That means it's wrong. Although honestly, I know of entirely zero games that use logarithmic. You should never have to touch that. But if your depth buffer is all stripey, maybe change that. That's basically it. Click this, change this number. 90% of the time, you're good. Check to make sure that you're using the right depth buffer. Because that's wrong. That's wrong. This is almost correct. This is correct. That's about it. Hopefully, Reshade doesn't do another update and I don't have to make another small, quick video just being like, hey, it broke again, so here's the new steps. And have fun with your depth, your ray tracing, 
I don't have any other depth things, but you can have like, you know, depth of field, MXAO, whatever. See you later.